Are you a young adult here in the Morristown or surrounding area and you've been thinking about buying a home, but you're not real sure how to get your credit in line to be able to purchase a home? Well, so today we're going to talk about how to build your credit score, things you need to know that you can start working on from the time you actually start working and getting credit in your name. The first thing you need to do is to pay your bills on time. Put it on your calendar, set things up on automatic payment, whatever you need to do to ensure that all your bills are being paid in a timely manner. This is going to include things like your electric bill, your water bill, your cell phone bill, anything that you have to make a monthly payment on, either put it on your calendar to make sure you pay it or set it up on an automatic payment. You also need to diversify your credit. You don't want everything on your credit report to be student loans. You need to have some kind of a car loan. You might want to get a credit card and you may have to start out with a secured credit card, but you want a credit card that can report to the credit bureaus. Keep an eye on your credit report. Don't just trust that everything is going the way it needs to go. Make sure you're checking your credit report pretty regularly because sometimes creditors do make mistakes and you want to get those corrected. Fourth thing I would tell you to do is to use credit sparingly. That means don't charge your credit card through the roof each and every month because a lower credit utilization ratio is one of the factors that they use to determine your credit score. So let's talk about the don'ts now. If you're looking to build your credit, you don't want to apply for multiple credit lines at once. So I always say, you know, when you go to the mall and you're going shopping through all these stores, nine times out of 10, when you get to the register, they'll say, oh, did you want to use your Kohl's charge card? Well, no, I don't have a Kohl's charge. Oh, let me get you to apply for one. We'll get you 25% off today. And if you did that for every store in the mall that you went to, so let's say you went to 10 stores, that's 10 credit pulls that you're going to get hit with. And each credit pull is going to pull your score down a little bit more. So don't let everybody pull your credit. Don't apply for every credit card out there. You don't want to max out your credit cards like we were talking about in the dues. If you have a high credit utilization, that's going to make a hit on your credit score. So don't max out your credit cards. Don't close out your old accounts. Old accounts prove longevity. So even if you've paid it off, even if it's a credit card you no longer use, leave it open because that gives you a longer credit history on the bureaus. The last thing I would tell you is don't ignore your debt. Sometimes people want to bury their head in the sand and think if I don't worry about it, it's just going to go away, but it's not going to go away. It's still going to be there. So if you know you've got a medical collection, if you know that when you were younger, you had a credit card that you didn't pay off the way you were supposed to, and they ended up having to charge it off. You need to contact that company, come up with some kind of a payment arrangement so that you can get that old debt taken care of and help boost your score up again. So there you have it. Those are some do's and some don'ts of how to build up your credit score. A good credit score is going to be the golden ticket to helping you buy your first home. If you're looking to buy your first home, start getting invested in real estate, you need to talk to an experienced realtor who can help you get there, but you also need an experienced loan officer who can give you even better tips on how to get your credit score where it needs to be to buy your first home. I'm Amy Schrader with REMAX Real Estate 10.